Hello! Holy shit, you guys, I can't believe they still make these. These were a mainstay of Argos catalogues and other picture books where you could look at things to buy in the past, and nobody ever had one because everybody's dad always said, what's the point? You won't be able to get those little chocolates to refill it again. And you know what? He was right, I think. This is the original chocolate machine money box. I think it is original, actually. I think it, it looks slightly different to how I remember it. It looks more plasticky, but who knows? It's a fun way to save money and earn Cadbury Dairy Milk Miniatures. And by earn, they mean paying for them. That's not earning, that's buying. Work it out, Cadbury. Right, what happens then? Twist the knob and open the secret door. Remember to wear a condom. To reveal your savings bank. Refill with the Cadbury Dairy Milk Miniatures by dropping them into the chimney. You will never get them again, though, I imagine. For best before, see their base. Oh, please tell me it's in. Oh, it's a Hornby product from the train manufacturers. How bizarre. Well, toy train manufacturers. I don't think Hornby have ever made any real ones. Not to three sad onions. That's always good. Where is the... Oh, who cares? Best before end. Unknown date we can't make out. Something 2014, I think. Oh, man, I'm genuinely so excited to finally see one of these damn things. Right, there's more sellotape on this than on Big Jeff the Sellotape Man, so... Oh, look at that. Fair trade chocolate. That's probably all you'll ever see, because, uh, yeah, you're never going to get it to refill. And wow, yeah, this is quite cheap and plasticky. I suppose it would be, really, wouldn't it? Oh, hang on. Yes, put chocolate in. No, put chocolate in backwards. Let me make that out. There we are. Well, that's changed my outlook on life. Oh, it only takes 10 peas. Damn. Have I got a 10p handy? Yeah, oh no, it's the only coin I haven't brought. I don't bloody believe it. Why didn't I check? Hang on. No, I'm all right, I've got a couple in my pocket. Splendid. Go on, let's fill it up then, just quickly. Dun, dun, dun. Drop them down the chimney, it says. Ugh, there's just this cheapy plastic clip flap thing. I think I'm gonna smash the chocolate to pieces. Oh no, it works. We're all right. It's mangling the... Uh, cover a bit, I think, when I put them in, but such is life. Actually, isn't there, or there used to be, some kind of uh, assorted chocolates thing in a tin, and this was one of them, the dairy milk. Maybe if you bought loads of those, you could get them to refill. Maybe you can order them direct from Cadbury. It's 50 times the expense of any other chocolate in the universe. I have no idea. Get in there. Here we are, it's full. <gasps> so exciting. Let's earn one with my ten pence, one of those new ones with a partial crest on it. You bastard! You heartless bastard! Right, let's try another one. Perhaps this is inflation, it's gone up twenty pence since they made it. They don't bloody fall out! There we are. I've, I've got a couple. <clears throat> I'm not best impressed by this, frankly. Where's another ten? Oh, God, hang on. <laughs> Going through my top pockets. Yes! I have another 10p. I can barely get, because I'm going in with the wrong hand. Ready? Now the bloody back's for... That's my review of that, then. <clears throat> Right, one last chance. Maybe if I really cram it into the little release mechanism there... Yes! Okay, I'm seeing a problem in your dispenser there, Cadbury. In fact, let's try another coin completely. It's supposed to be putting in a 10p. Let's put in a 1p. Ready? And you still get to keep it. You can, in fact, prod it with anything. A key, your finger if you've got particularly long fingernails. What an absolute pile of shit. I mean, unbelievable. It's going to be the most expensive way to buy chocolate other than actually purchasing a company that makes chocolate. And then it's just a cheap piece of shit. And it even looks like a cheap plasticky piece of shit. I really hope that was better in the 80s, but somehow... Well, I can't imagine it being much worse, unless you just put a coin near it and it caught fire or something. Ugh. Oh well, at least now I get to eat all the chocolate and chuck that piece of shite in the bin. Hello. If you're anything like me, then you're a 36-year-old Englishman who just bought a house that was last decorated in 1983. But also, you'll accept no substitutes for the very best shit to hang from your Christmas tree. And that's why we have produced for you the Chef Excellence Porcelain Bauble. 
made out of extremely easily breakable but very impressive looking materials. It features a likeness of Chef Excellence version 3, or Movie Chef Excellence, as he's also known. An excellent decoration, it says, and indeed it is. And simply reverse it for that truest of truisms. A true chef always exploits Yuletide business opportunities. Mm. But hey, you scream at me, where can you get such a beautiful device to hang from your shitty limp aluminium Christmas tree? Well, the answer is stufffrompeople.com. Yes, that's really called stufffrompeople.com. These are now available for 10 British pounds or 11 if you live outside the UK because it costs more to send stuff there. There's also a range of more impressive designs on offer for more artistic people, my personal favourite being Wom Chops. So what are you waiting for? It'll be the best £10 or £11 you've ever spent in your life, unless you've ever spent that amount of money before.